is Donna from the Nina Public Library. And you know that we're having Beach Month this month. So we're pretending that we're somewhere nice and warm and sunny. And our songs and our stories are all about being at the beach or being under the sea. So our song today is the Goldfish Song by Lori Berkner. And it's a lot of fun. You can get up and you can pretend to swim all around the room, all right? So when we get to the part that it says, let's go swimming, let's go swimming, just move your arms like you're swimming through the water and move all the way around the room. And then I'll help you with the motions for the verses. And then when it's time to go to sleep, I'll play that on the ukulele, but you can put your heads down and take a little rest. And when they woke up, you can wake up and then you'll go swimming, right? Okay, let's see how this song goes for us. A lots of little fish were swim sleeping on a rock in the bottom of the ocean. They lifted up their heads and they shook out their tails and they said let's go swimming let's go swimming let's go swimming yeah let's go swimming let's go swimming let's go swimming on the bottom of the ocean then the little fish got so very very tired that they went back to the rock they put down their heads and they put down their tails. This is the part where you go to sleep. And they took a little nap. And when they woke up, they were a little bit dirty. Will you do the motions with me? So they took a shower and they washed their hair and they washed their ears and they washed their tummies, and they washed their very long fishy beards, and they washed their noses, and they washed their toeses, and then they said, wait a minute, we're fish. We don't take showers. Let's all go swimming. Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming, let's go swimming. Yeah, let's go swimming, let's go swimming, let's go swimming at the bottom of the ocean. Now we got very tired again. Then the little fish got so very, very tired that they went back to the rock. They put down their heads and they put down their tails and they took a little nap. And when they woke up, bring your head up, they decided to ride their bicycles. So they rode to the left, and they rode to the right, and they rode all day, and they rode all night, 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 night. They rode down the hill, they rode faster still, and then they said, A minute. We're fish. We don't ride bicycles. Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. Yeah, let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming at the bottom of the ocean. Then the little fish got so very, very tired that they came back to the rock. They put down their heads and they put down their tails and they took a little nap. Are you guys napping? <laughs> and when they woke up, they decided to brush their teeth. This is the most fun verse. Can you follow everything that I do? So they got out their toothbrush and their toothpaste and they squeezed a little on. They really liked the taste. Then they put it in their mouth. They brushed north and south. And then they said, wait a minute, we're fish. We don't brush our teeth. So can 
you do two choruses of swimming around the room. Let's go swimming, let's go swimming. Yeah, let's go swimming, let's go swimming, let's go swimming. At the bottom of the ocean, let's go swimming, let's go swimming. Today is Ocean, and the series is the Nerdy Babies series. We have all the Nerdy Babies board books, but this is a picture book, and it's written and illustrated by Emmy Kastner. Let's take a look at who published this book. Roaring Brook Press, New York. Thank you, Roaring Brook Press. Hey there, nerdy babies. Do you ever wonder about the ocean? You probably do. You're curious. See that blue stuff on Earth? This is the Earth, the planet Earth. The green stuff is land and the blue stuff is ocean. Off the coast, swirling between each continent on our planet, you'll find the ocean. Much bigger than a bathtub, babies. Most of our planet is covered in salt water. That's not the kind we drink. Some animals live on the shore and find food in the ocean. I'd like to know where all the nerdy babies' grown-ups are. Oh, they are just out of the picture, I'm sure. At the surface, you may find animals peeking up who need air to breathe or a place to sleep. I've been right there where you can watch the sea lions sleep. It's really cool in San Francisco. The water is warmed by the sun. This nerdy baby is saying, what's down there? Just below the surface. You'll find plants and animals that need light from the sun to live and grow. You can see this reef from the moon. That must be the Great Barrier Reef. So many fish. A little deeper, marine life is on the move. Animals migrate all over the world. It's chilly down here. Blue marlin travel far following food. Leatherback sea turtles swim to distant beaches to lay their eggs. This is lion's main jellyfish and mackerel. There's plenty to eat along the way. Here's some krill for the whales. Gray whales head south for the winter. Most of the ocean is cold. Aren't you cold? This nerdy baby is asking this fish. Since fish are cold-blooded, their bodies adjust to match warm and cold water. Back on the surface, other marine animals have thick fur or feathers, penguins, or blubber, whales, to keep warm. This is the North Pole, and this is the South Pole where the penguins are. The deeper you travel down into the ocean, the colder and darker it gets. No sunlight. Few plants live this far from the sunlight, and some creatures even glow in the dark. Deep is very deep. At the deepest point, the bottom is about seven miles down. Only a few people have been to the very bottom of the ocean. This sign says bottom of the ocean. Deep sea vents are hot. Huh. There are thousands and thousands of unique marine species in the ocean. This one has three hearts. This is the loudest animal on earth. That looks like a whale, right? This is related to elephants. Do you think that's a manatee? Do you have a favorite? The ocean is huge. There are many species that haven't been discovered yet. Do any of you recognize this? 
maybe it exists. A narwhal, or maybe it's mythical like a unicorn. Marine biologists get their feet wet and explore just like you. Here's a nerdy baby, here's a nerdy kid, and here's a nerdy marine biologist. So stay curious. There's more to learn about everything. And they all lived happily ever after the end. For our last week of February and beach month, we're going to do our last beach yoga flow. And how about if we get into sea star position to do our breathing? It's one of my favorite yoga poses. I just love the way it makes me feel because we can stretch out our legs and stretch out our arms and take nice deep breaths. You're going to see the child next to me doing the yoga pose and the symbol behind it is what we're going to pretend just for fun. So this is star pose, but today we're calling it sea star. So like a starfish. And you're going to be standing. You step your feet out nice and wide and you lift both of your arms out to your sides and above your head with your fingers spread wide out. And you're going to pretend to be a sea star in a tidal pool. And now we're going to take a few nice deep breaths. This is a great pose if you've had some screen time and you need to get up and stretch anytime. You can do sea star and take some nice deep breaths and stretch as far as you can out with your legs and out with your arms. Feels so good. Our next pose, we're going to pretend to throw a Frisbee. I wish we were outside at the beach throwing a Frisbee, but this is warrior one pose. And what you're going to do is you're You'll step your foot back and bend your front knee, and then you reach both of your arms up overhead, and you pretend to be throwing a Frisbee. Stretch those arms straight up to the sky, and you'll need to pause this video so that you can do it on the other side. For our next pose, we're going to be pretending to play beach volleyball. And this is crescent lunge pose. So we're in a standing position and we'll step our right foot back into a lunge with your left foot directly over your left knee and a straight back leg. You inhale and you take your arms straight up to the sky. You open your chest, you open that heart, look up and take a few deep breaths and you can pretend to be playing beach, beach volleyball. And again, I'd like you to pause the video so that you can do the other side. For our next pose, we'll be pretending to skimboard, and that's warrior two. So from crescent lunge, you're going to reach both arms out to the side and look over your front fingertips. Does that make you feel like you're on a skin board or a surfboard? Make sure your front knee is bent forward and you pretend to be skin boarding on the water's edge. And this is another one where you want to do it with both legs. So pause the video and skin board on the other leg. So you'll be stretching your arm forward and back See how far you can stretch both of those arms out. Seagull pose is warrior three, and it's a balancing pose. So this is one you can do next to a wall or with your grown-up's help, or maybe you have really great balance, and that's wonderful. So you stand on one leg, and you bring your other leg behind you and flex your foot. You bend your torso forward and take your arms back alongside your body 
and you pretend to be a seagull looking for snacks. Balancing poses are wonderful for, for strengthening our bodies because think how strong that one leg has to be to hold up your whole body when usually you have both legs to do it. Pause the video so that you can do this on both sides. Do you ever like to read a book or have a book read to you at the beach? Because in Sphinx pose, we can pretend to be reading a book. You lie on your belly and you bring your legs out in back of you and you place your elbows on the ground just in front of your shoulders with your forearms parallel and your palms flat. You'll be inhaling, open your chest and bring your chest up. You're going to be looking forward and you'll squeeze your shoulder blades a little to feel a baby back bend. And you can pretend to be reading a book on your beach towel. In hero pose, let's listen to the ocean waves. So you come to rest upright on your heels with your palms resting on your knees. And I'd like you to imagine listening to the ocean waves. Do you remember what I told you in another story time about how you can hear ocean waves sometimes? If you listen to a shell, bring it up to your ear, or even if you cup your hand or your grown-up cups their hand and brings it up to your ear, sometimes you can almost hear the waves. Next, we're going to do clamshell pose, and that's cobbler's pose. So you sit on your bum with a tall spine, and you bend your legs and place the soles of your feet together and you gently open and close your legs like a clamshell. That is a good stretchy pose and also your spine gets some practice at being nice and straight while you sit. Breathe. So for sea anemone pose, that's flower pose. It's almost like cobbler pose. So you balance on your sitting bones. You've got the soles of your feet together and you can weave your arms under your legs with your palms facing up. And you pretend to be a sea anemone waving in the warm current. You can rock back and forth if that feels good in your body. We're going to end up today in sea urchin pose. I hope you're not prickly like a sea urchin but sea urchins are pretty cool to look at. That's child's pose. And so you sit on your heels and you slowly bring your forehead down to rest on the floor in front of your knees and rest your arms down alongside your body and take a few deep breaths and pretend to be a sea urchin in the tidal pool. Feels so good. So to finish up our story time for this month, we're going to do Aloha for our goodbye song again. Let me grab my ukulele. And remember that you can put a ukulele on hold at the library and then you can learn how to play the ukulele or your grown up. You just need to know two or three chords and you can do a ton of children's songs. Aloha. Story time is over, our dancing time is done. Aloha, oi, aloha, oi, until we meet again. Thank you for coming to Yoga and Yodels today, and we'll see you soon.